a rundown on some of our Alaska stories for this Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving. In Barrow, residents turned out on Tuesday to protest in light of a, a recent arrest, a whole bunch of uh, assets, over $20,000 in cash, and a bunch of drugs have been seized. The residents showed up to protest the drug dealer, saying that they do not want meth in Barrow. In Bethel, the city council there has approved grant applications for a bus funding. They had been talking about getting rid of bus service. Instead, now they've applied for a grant to get more buses. A vehicle fire on the Glen Highway slowed down traffic yesterday afternoon, actually reduced it to just one lane for a while. A 75-year-old woman who was missing in Anchorage, they put out an alert for her. She was considered vulnerable and at risk. She was not dressed for the weather. They did find her safely last night. The Ferry Tustamina is still safe to sail, according to a new survey that was completed on the craft, although it is now being still taken out of service for the cross Gulf crossings. Eight grams of marijuana that was surrendered at the Fairbanks Airport has now led to the clarification of rules on flying with pot in Alaska. TSA still says they have final say on whether or not you get to have your legal pot. Meanwhile, legal pot may be in danger under a President Trump, as it looks like the person that he is picking for the the Attorney General is anti-pot, and they could come down actually immediately across the board on anybody because anybody who has filed a license to be, have a pot business has already declared their intention to break federal law. There's another story on why Sarah Palin would be a terrible interior secretary given her record with climate change and drilling. Senator Murkowski has fought off an urge from her own party to drop the energy bill until Trump takes office. Also, traffic fatalities up across the state. Department of Transportation doesn't have any one key factor tying it together, but does say that wearing seatbelts and driving while impaired are big ones. An automatic fire suppression system restricted an apartment fire in the Jillian Apartments to just a stovetop this week. However, a home in Abbott Loop in Anchorage sustained heavy damage after the garage fire there spread. Remember the Mountain View man who was beaten with a hammer back in July? He's not doing well. They're saying that he's on a feeding tube, and although he can mumble a few words, he just simply is not the same. He will not likely to be fully recovered. The state is currently reviewing if a man was improperly released from jail before committing a fatal shooting this last week. An Anchorage teacher has won a national award to the tune of $25,000, no strings attached. The Assembly in Juneau is considering an ordinance that could spur more housing by making it easier for developers to build roads. The public showed out on Tuesday here in Fairbanks to support the idea of keeping the trees in the library as they're making over the lobby. And in Craig, the Tribal Association has applied for a $180,000 grant and got it to improve emergency services in Craig. Gold has finally dropped under $1,200 as it looks like we've been continually moving downward. And if you remember that video that went viral this week about a polar bear petting a dog, turns out a a polar bear did what polar bears do. I'm not sure if it was the same polar bear or the same dog, but in that same place, at this actually the same, very same locality, a dog was eaten by a polar bear right after this video went viral. Uh, So apparently the dog, the the bear wasn't petting the dog. He was just checking to see if the food was ready. Another sales tax proposal is in the works right now for Anchorage. And scientists say that global warming has altered the Arctic food chain with unpredictable results. A judge has ordered striking cargo pilots back to work. And another judge has put on hold a federal rule that would expand overtime pay to millions of workers. Here in Alaska, in terms of uh, free Thanksgiving Day meals, there are a number available in Anchorage, including at the Hard Rock Cafe today. And a warning from the Better Business Bureau about scams that are going to appear with Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday, as well as Giving Tuesday, especially if you're getting an email with a link to click. If, If you like the offer that you see about that company, go to that company's website directly. Don't click on a link. It may be a scam. And lastly, troopers are out in force today and the rest of this weekend specifically looking for people who are not wearing their seatbelt or who have been drinking and driving. So please be safe out there. Happy Thanksgiving. If you want the full 30-minute version of the news, I have an audio-only version. Once again, 30 full minutes will get you every single story with a lot of details online 
if you go to RadioFreeSpeech.com. Once again, that's RadioFreeSpeech.com. Just a moment, I'll be back with a bit of a commentary on one of our stories today.